Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of the week. And welcome to a new video on, uh, on ADA. I haven't covered Cardano in a very long time. I, I used to cover it a lot. Um, and uh, there's not that much going on right now, but I felt just like making another update. I've been covering a lot of uh, shit coins lately. And I just need to get back to a, a more serious coin, even though some of you might not call it a more serious coin. Uh, but Cardano on its own, and we'll talk about the fundamentals, we'll talk about the technicals, hopefully everything you need to know. Uh, fundamentally, Cardano has not been doing well since the beginning of August. Total value locked has not been in a free fall, but it has been dropping down significantly. Um, and, uh, and, and what we're seeing just in general when we're talking about Cardano and... Um, is, is that the correlation right now between Bitcoin and, uh, and and Cardano is very, very high. And then if we take a look at Cardano against Bitcoin, right? So that we see how strong it is against Bitcoin. We'll see that that's in a downtrend. All right. So here you can actually see that uh, Bitcoin is way stronger than um, or, or Bitcoin is, is at least comparatively stronger compared to Cardano. Um, while being correlated, which basically means that Cardano will drop down a little bit more when Bitcoin drops down and go up a little bit less when Bitcoin goes up. Um, but that's a brief update. We'll talk about some more specific technicals right now. Before we dive into that, though, I do want to briefly mention that I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own trades as signals like this. Uh, but you also gain access to a chat room full of traders and my own trading guide. So if that sounds interesting, consider joining. But for now, let's get into Cardano. So the thing is, um, and I, I, I never like doing this, but right now what, what Cardano does really does depend on what Bitcoin does. All right. So Bitcoin right now uh, has dropped down below 26,200, has dropped down below 26,400 major bearish breakout so it is expected in my eyes at least that it will retest those levels and continue dropping down towards 26,000 again and 25,800 so for cardano i i really also technically do expect the same cardano has been bearish on the on, on the longer term if you zoom out on the daily here you can see um however on the on the four hour time frame you can actually see that it's it's been you know consolidating quite a bit here first in this range up here there's still a bit of bearish momentum, which you can see, for example, with the 200 EMA, which has been sloping down ever since um, the start of that bearish momentum on the daily time frame. But in general, th th there is room for consolidation. That's also still what I expect for now um, on the short term. Right now, we're seeing some bullish momentum for Cardano that will probably lead up towards 25 cents uh, and 24.7 cents. This area right here, I don't expect it to get up to the 3A2 FIB. It's a possibility. I mean, if, if Bitcoin right now breaks above 26,500 again, then that would be enough bullish confirmation to for Cardano to, to get up towards that 3A2 FIB at 25.3 cents and perhaps even break above that to, to get towards 20, 26 cents and really form a consolidation. But that's not expected. It's it's not expected that Bitcoin will will get up that much and actually get that bullish breakout. So the most likely scenario in my eyes is that Cardano will retest that area and that from there we will actually continue the bearish momentum down towards this level right here between 23.8 and 24 cents, which is still supported by a major trend line right here. So I expect that to hold Ultimately, and I might make an update on that, but ultimately I do expect Cardano to also drop down to its next support level at 23 cents. Uh, but for that, again, and that's kind of the positive thing, for that we would need to wait for a bearish breakout from Bitcoin towards 25,000. And that also does not look like it's close. All right, so that's my full take on Cardano for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.